Hi guys, welcome back to Cisco Nate. Uh, I'm Nate Stapp. I'm here to show you how to convert a Firepower 2100 chassis running Firepower code to ASA code. It's known as a re-image. So there's four prerequisites you need. One is you need a Firepower chassis. It needs to be running Firepower code. You need to have the ASA image you are looking to upgrade to, and it needs to be one compatible with your chassis. Now, as of this video, ASA 9, 8, 2, and above are all compatible with the entire 2100 series chassis. That image you can look up in the future by searching Cisco ASA compatibility, and it'll be your first Google result, so just go there to look up if that is still currently an image that is supported on your Firepower chassis. That image needs to be accessible over the network to this chassis via SCP, FTP, SFTP, TFTP, or even USB actually. And USB is actually the simplest, but this video is going to focus on a network transfer version. And I typically use FileZilla as my FTP software. It's fairly simple to configure. It's intuitive. It's one I've used multiple times, so that's what you'll be seeing in this video. You don't have to use that. You need a way to SSH to this device. So I personally use PuTTY, and typically MT PuTTY, which is multi-tabbed PuTTY, makes it kind of like the tab browsers that you use to surf the internet today, keeps all your systems more manageable and easier to uh, navigate between. All right, so on to the demonstration. Okay, so now we're at the RDP session into my lab, and the first thing we want to do is go over those prerequisites. All right, so I'm gonna come to PuTTY, I'm gonna log into my Firepower 2100, that's good. I've got my chassis, and the carrot prompt is where you want to start. So the first thing is, let's make sure it's not licensed or registered with management, whether it's locally via Firepower Device Manager, FDM, or remotely with Firepower Management Center, FMC. The best way to do that is just type show managers, and in my case it will say no managers present. That means it's good to go. Now, if you happen to have managers configured, at this point you can type configure, manager, delete, and hit enter, and that will remove it from management, whether it's local or remote. All right, second thing we want to do is go through those prerequisites. I've got my Firepower chassis. It is running Firepower Threat Defense. Now I want to make sure I have the image available. So I'm going to go to the drive that I'm using for my images. In this case, it's my E drive, Firepower 2K series images. There's FTD and here's ASA. Now I'm going to go ahead and move to 912.2 for this move. So I've got the image I need. You want to make sure it's the terminology in the image name specifically is Cisco ASA FP2K. If FP2K is not present in the image name, you have an incorrect image, and that is most likely the ASA image that is intended for the 4100 or 9300 series. Those do not have FP2K in them. Stop now and go get the right, correct image. If you do have it there, the next thing we need to do is make sure that it is served up via some file sharing application. In this case, as I said before, I tend to use FileZilla. I'll just go verify that I have my user created. I do, Cisco Nate, it's got a password, and the folder that I drop into is indeed my E drive. So I have access to everything I need to in order to make sure I can transfer this file. Note that the long name for my image location will be e slash fbr 2 k slash and the file name. All right, we're gonna go back to the ASA, or to the Firepower chassis. And I'm going to type connect FXOS, and this is where the magic starts to happen. I'm going to scope to firmware, and I'm going to say download image URL, oops, sorry, download image, in this case FTP, call slash slash, Cisco Nate <coughs> at 192.168.25.7. Slash, what was the share name? I believe it's FPR 2K slash, and now I need the rest of the image name here. Should query me for a password. All right, so that should have initiated the download, and unlike most FTPs, you don't see immediate progress of what's going on. Instead, they ask you to run show download task. And as you can see, it is in the middle of downloading. You can see it's the correct image name via FTP from the correct server. It's using my user ID, and it is in the downloading state. So this is fantastic. Things are working as they should. 
Now at some point we should see it finishes and when it finishes the state on this will change. We'll wait till that happens and then we'll go back and make sure the package is actually available in the local file directory. There you go. So it just changed to download it. That means we're good. And the way we can verify that is doing a show package. Now show package will show that the package is downloaded here. You can see it's AFA, FP, ASA, FP2K9122. And the package version is what you need to keep track of from here on out. So 9.12.2 is the important part of what we need to know for the rest of this. So I'm going to go to scope auto install install security pack version and remember that version number I told you we need to know here it is 9.12.2 enter that's going to tell you that hey you're going to proceed with the upgrade it'll do the following it'll add the new FXOS version the platform version it'll re-image with the CSP to ASA instead and we want to type yes go forth and re-image Now, in the event of an operational system, you may actually want to back it up and do a few other things, but that will be subject of another video. This is just a simple way to flash over to another image. It's going to be a few minutes here while it re-images. We'll wait for it to finish uh, doing this, and what will happen is it will reboot during this process. So we'll come back when that's done. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and waited till the device rebooted. And in this case, you can see I've actually fired up my lab terminal server, and through the terminal server, I've consoled into the chassis as it is rebooting with the ASA code now versus the Firepower code. Now understand that on the Firepower 2100 chassis, it is still actually running FXOS at, underneath everything, and the ASA has been run on top. So during this boot process, don't be freaked out if you see things like platform 2110 and you see a bunch of firepower references it is indeed loading the ASA code as long as you followed the previous instructions so we'll wait for the uh, upgrade to complete here and then I'll continue a little more All right, here we are, guys. We're back. Uh, it took about three or four reboots. In this case, that's because there were some FPGA module and ROM on upgrades included in the flash over to ASA. Don't be surprised if it takes a while, reboots a few times, you're okay. This is what the screen will look as like as it's coming up on the final reboot. You can see that it says Firepower 2110 login. We'll go ahead and hit enter a few times. And there we go, we're at the login. At this point, it's going to be back to the default logins. So in this case, it will be admin as a username and then admin with capital A123 as the password. You see it's successful login. Here I am at the Firepower prompt. So there we are. We have actually re-imaged already over to ASA. And the first thing you need to do now is type connect ASA. Now you can see ASA actually wasn't started yet, so when I did that it told me, hey, it's not installed. The reality is, in the background, Cisco ASA is starting and it's getting registered. So give it a minute, don't freak out. Like I said, it takes a second for this to come up. Again, it's more of a hypervisor and image relationship here, so these things will happen. Just wait it out to see the message. ASA started successfully. Now I should be able to type connect ASA. Oop, not yet started. It's getting there. <coughs> They lie to us. Why does the CLI say it started successfully when it has not actually started? <clears throat> there we go. Now we're connected to the ASA, and it's almost like a pseudo-terminal connection. You can see it's actually still going through the ASA code start, but it still allows me to connect. So there we are. That's it. We have flashed a Firepower 2100 successfully over to ASA. You guys got to see the whole process from start to end, including some of the superfluous information about the fire, FileZilla and SSH. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one.